Hey guys, welcome to High Lore Gaming. My name is Amber, and with me is my husband Joseph. We're playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time, we relit the furnace at Robbie's ancient tech lab. Now we're going to paraglide to the nearby Lomi Labyrinth Island to destroy all the guardians and collect some treasures and some special tools. Welcome back, everybody. Today, we are going to do something new that we haven't explored before. We're up here in the northeast corner of all the land. It's raining, not a lot to do besides smashing these boxes. And uh, being up here in the corner of the map, there is one area that is beyond these lands that we can fl uh, glide to. It's really peculiar. It's really interesting to explore. It's one of the fan favorites. Mm -hmm. What do we call this? According to my map, it's the Lome Labyrinth Island. I wish we could see it a little better. When it's not raining, there's... Ooh, but it's so much more, more mysterious. More detail. <laughs> so, there's treasures hidden in those walls. And we do want to take out guardians while we're here. Oh yeah, we are sinking so much. We're going to be at the bottom. We might have to wait to do some of the sky watchers until the rain stops. Yeah. So there's a completely unique Zonai architecture. You who have reached this point, proceed onward through the maze and you will receive a reward. Trial of the Labyrinth. Oh my word, music. we already have been sighted. You better get out of there. He may even try to track you down now. He'll be on a yeah. walking route around the labyrinth. Oh wait, this is... What are you trying to do, Amber? You know you can't climb. I know, but this is under a ledge. Oh, I we can I see could. his blinking dot on the map. Yeah. He was coming towards us, and now he's going back to where he came from. No, I did think I could climb because, see, this is covered. Oh. So, anyway, okay. Huh. You have a point. Well, I do know that there's something this way, so we might as well... Yeah, so there's three labyrinths, each of them of a Zonai architecture. All of them like this. On the one hand, it feels very flat and basic, kind of dated by video game standards these days. And on the other hand, they did a really good job with it. I think it's interesting. It's yeah. very just and it's fun to play a through a maze. Yeah. <sighs> and these mazes have treasure chests, they have monsters, they have guardians, and Oops. this one is the most interesting of all of them because of a unique quality to it. Yeah, so look at that map. It is really confusing because yeah. even if you try to just like navigate all the paths it won't show you what's on the walls and within the walls on a three-dimensional yeah. plane where you can see their sides mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there's unique entrances there's staircases there's there's ladders yeah well and then this side there's an entrance here there's an entrance here which is basically the same thing and then this entrance, if you look at it, it goes nowhere. Yeah, it has dead ends very close to the entrance. But there's this entrance, and this is what gets you all the way up here. <laughs> but, yeah. It's and the crazy. two sides are not mirror images of each other. No. So we've got Skywatcher Guardians flying over the top of it. So if you try to escape the, the Guardian... And the monsters from down below, you have to deal with them. Wait, which, which way do I want to go? Okay, where I'm facing. I really wish we could find a spot to light a fire. Can we light a fire right here? There is shelter over your head. Yeah, because it's not raining in that spot. You don't have to worry about style monsters here because there's no dirt. Yeah. So they're not it's going to nice. pop out of the ground. Okay. And there are no friends, there are no allies. When you get to the shrines, they are blessing shrines. Okay, so I came... Ah! Well, it's not raining now. Do you want to give it a shot? Sure. Remember to target him, too. There you go. <laughs> well, you sure did well. Although I have been doing a lot of practicing too lately, so... I have not been practicing, yeah. not on Guardians anyway. I, I've been practicing on Guardians, because... Oops. 
the basic Sheikah shield probably wouldn't have lasted much longer anyway. Yeah. There is dead. Smooth. Our first walker. Oh, so there's... See those two yellow, the yellow glowing? Ones? Those are ancient cores, and those are hard to come by, so... That is fun. And remember, you need all of those for different kinds of things to buy from Robbie's Tech Lab. Yes. So I do know in the two, these two middle things have oh, chests. chests. Bombs chest. There is another chest near you. Is it the one up? Or, no, I think I'm wrong. I'm looking in another area. I found it, yeah. yeah so I was looking in another area. There's also a decayed guardian in here somewhere? Or is that like... That's probably underneath. Oh. So <laughs> we haven't told one. people about that yet, though. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, So should we go that. for the um, shrine first and then do the rest of the guardians? Sure. So that's where that's like a we window. want to go, but it's barred up so we can't. You can climb the walls, and I believe you can also climb barred windows like that. So you could see into it and feel very much excluded from the uh, the inside of the room. Oh, I know what's back here, too. Another treasure? I think this has a treasure in it. It does! And we got little monsters on the other side of that wall. Ooh, a giant ancient oh. core. That's a great find. Yeah. Now I need to move so I can get in. Most of the treasure chests here are really useful. Yes, which is so helpful because when you're you get when so... When they're compelling you to come to a labyrinth that's extra intimidating. Yes. So confusing and I don't know if I'm going in the right So direction. I'm guessing that guy in front of you that's one out of one for a life gauge is... Oh, got it. It's probably a keys. Keys or a choo-choo? Yes, either one of those. And since, like, all these walls look the same... Oh, I remember what's in here. We want to go up here. Is this the shrine itself? No, not quite. Oh, I don't remember. Oh, yay! Surprise for you too. So the idea is that the Sheikahs probably reused this ancient ruin. Ta -da! Oh, that's cool. A great flame blade. So this would have been ultra ancient, belonging to the Zonai, predating the Sheikahs era. Have we had a flame blade yet? I think we've seen them. Okay. Maybe the single-handed ones. We haven't been using them to start fires, which is yeah, what that's what we really do. like to use them for. It's just starting. I know it's kind of terrible. <laughs> so I think the shoe it, it is. A Keys, you're right. <laughs> this is the room. Okay, yes. turn. Honestly, I don't even understand how you got there. You, you do, but yeah. I, 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 I did not expect that to just happen. Look at those lamp posts. Uh, I mean, from another angle, so we can see what their design is. Okay, so that's like, those remind me of. Ooh, they look like a head, like a. So it reminds me of the dragons you see in the Tears of the Kingdom logo. Yeah. There's cool. obviously more to the Zonai than we already know from Breath of the Wild. Yep. I believe this is a blessing shrine. <laughs> After all we just did. Two Kalos blessing. The two Kalo shrine. Poor guy. It's kind of <laughs> lonely up here. Barbarian helm. So the reason for this set of clothing that all looks kind of freaky as barbarian clothing is that it is the warrior outfit of the Zonai, or at oh. least inspired by them. Okay. So I don't know if people know for a fact that that's what the Zonai warriors wore. Yeah, because it says an ancient warlike tribe from the Faron region, which is where 
So maybe that's what they looked like to a T, but maybe not. And notice that the skull there with horns on the side is unlike any other monster yeah. we know of. Huh. For say, you know, for I mean, it could be a beast, maybe some kind of Lionel li type yeah. creature. But yeah. Lionels don't look like that either. It's super interesting. And it's kind of ugly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not my favorite outfit. <laughs> I'm not a fan of the Zonai. Yeah. And if that's what they consider their war outfit. Yeah. On the one hand, it's barbaric, it's primitive, but it's mm -hmm. also... It, it, they don't look friendly. No. They look no, like they antagonists. Yes. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> oh, what a view. Yeah, the, the two Skywatchers were just like sitting there and I'm like... Wait, are you gonna... So, yeah, see, the grate came off of this wind tunnel and the front right here. Oh, okay. I was thinking there was. So that way you there can... Was. Yeah. They okay. just don't want to make it too easy to get so in. So can I try to find yeah. one of those sky watchers here? Yeah. Amber just gave me There the is more below. I don't know if we want to do that oh, first. Oh, totally. But uh, since we're already halfway up the walls, I figured okay. we'd cut some of the distance out. So I'll just get up here to the top and then... Go toe to toe with one of these sky watchers. Come to me. <laughs> You're looking in the wrong place. <laughs> Bombing their arrow, their propeller system, this seems to be like one of the best ways to get them because. Oh no, not all the way down! Ugh. Oh, well, I'm not dead. Uh, caught the wall well enough to keep you from. Oh, the rain! No, no rain again? What? Crummy. Uh, no, th oh, that means the, the bombs, bombs won't work. It, no, uh, uh, and I hardly have a scratch on him. How did that even happen? You can't land on it. Okay. You can, but it's mighty tricky. Let's see. Ah, uh, yeah. Come back here, you. Well, this is un unhelpful. You want to get to some place down below? Yeah. Um, if you look, I think right near where we are, there's a chest. So, like, right in here somewhere? Yeah. There's also one or two kind of about here. And then there's another oh, one behind. somewhere here-ish. But that could be on the lower level of the whole labyrinth. No, these all... I'm pretty sure these are all on the top. So it's hard to see exactly, but it's along this back wall someplace. There it is. Oh, camouflaged almost. Here, you can have the control it back. Yes. An ancient core. Let's take this one. It's off. curious to me that the Sheikahs probably put that in the chest. Yeah. So they knew that it would be valuable for someone like Link. But, you know, I just I just find it curious that the Sheikahs create challenges for Link. Yeah. That are deadly and also provide him the resources he needs yeah without making it easy on the guy yeah Oops. but the things they give him are highly specific resources that he totally needs <laughs> exactly and that's basically one of the guts of a guardian you know it's what makes those guardians tick yeah oh there we go there it is the shaft so this other one's right here on the other side. Oh. But I think we have to go all the way out and around and come back into here and go up through here. Cool. Now, there are theorists that have ideas that these labyrinths weren't originally designed by the Zonai, but that the Sheikah borrowed their designs and built these labyrinths for tests for Link. Honestly, yeah. I don't know why that would happen. 
So is this where the guardian? The guardian's here. Yes, that's the decayed guardian. Well, you could smash him up with your master sword, but you got it recharging I now. I think it's uh, back up. Yeah. Oh, Amber, look at that. Go back to the master sword. I never noticed this before, but it shows there oh, that it'll time. be ready in seven minutes and thirty-two seconds from the time you popped the menu open. Interesting. Huh? I'd never seen that before. You may have to go to the eye. I'm like, why isn't it working? The walkers are so intimidating. Yes. In the best of circumstances, the decayed guardians missing their legs are very sad. Yes. You're it's not interested like in really... that electric whiz wand? I will, but this is where the... Oh, oh, the chest. By all means. Chest is... Can I get past there? There it is. See, we are right on the other side. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> We did all of that when it could have been like, it's, it's kind of torture to see it right there. Like, oh, oh, this is out. not a piece. These are some weapons here. Yeah, the poor souls that tried their best to survive around here. I huh. left these behind. That or they were left behind by the Sheikahs specifically for Link's benefit. They thought Link could take advantage of this stuff? I don't know. You're not interested in f replacing any of your weapons for that wand? Well... Okay, now we have to get What are you looking here. for next? Well, so... There's the diamond circlet. I really think that yes, we should get that. Yes, that we need... Actually, let's just go back to the shrine because it's... Uh, the entrance to the underground place is right in front of the shrine. Brilliant! I never thought about doing that. Okay, so we're going to go down in here. There's going to be a lot of guardians. They will all look asleep or dead or whatever you want to call it, but some of them will be alive. They will not wake up until we get a particular chest. So we'll get that chest last, but there are... I think there's two chests down there, so we'll get one. Then we'll go around, get some of the guardians, and then get the last chest. Yeah, this is a really fine. good place to gather guardian parts. It totally took me by surprise the first time I did it. It was it just absolutely confused me. Yes. So see this room? It's scary. All the guardians in I think when I went down in there the first time, I did something to set off one of the guardians, and then I immediately ended up in a battle with him which woke up others. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this one's dead, so let's stay away from that other one. So this is the one, the chest that we will do at the very end. So just don't get close to them, and it doesn't wake them up, I don't think. Look at all them Zonai squirrels. Yeah. The Travel Medallion. This mysterious tool was made using forgotten ancient technology. Place it by opening your pouch and registering your current location as a travel gate. So, one of my favorite objects best tools in the game yeah so you can travel helpful. to the place of your choosing so long as you're standing where you want to put it down mm -hmm. and then later return to that spot and you can relocate it as many times as you want yes so camera can detect the life me the, the oh living so like guardians. if they show up like that they're so I, I i saw four of them did you see more so this one's alive that one's alive we got two that are not walkers, and probably two that are walkers. When Wonder how the grass got down there. And we can search these ones that are dead. I remember hearing in an interview with the developers of the game that they were interested in doing something that was like a spider for a, a monster, an enemy. Then they got the idea of, why don't we make it a mechanical beast? Oh. And... Thank goodness. That was where a lot of the inspiration for their design came from. That's a relief. I know a lot of the older Zelda titles have giant 
bugs and spiders and scorpions yeah. and that kind of thing. I, I don't especially enjoy that kind of enemy. No. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, yeah, me too. they're interesting for their novelty, but when they show up in all of the games and they're hideous yes. anyway, I appreciated the extra layer of creativity with these. There's rain. Yeah, how does the rain get in? There must be cracks in the ceiling. Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna run up here. Yes. There you go. And you're not using the Master Sword, are you? Oh, I'm not. Hold still, hold still. Oh, crummy. Well, you got him too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> With Look a ball mirror. Look at it. <laughs> Get your Master Sword. I can't believe I wasn't using it. That's yeah, better. So the Master Sword is extra specially good against the Sheikah Guardians. And every time you chop off a leg, the leg gives you a part to collect. And then destroying the whole beast gives you more. Come on, come on! Yes! Woo! I was afraid he was going to shoot me before I could finish. And so if you don't destroy the individual legs first, It'll just drop that pile of parts. Yeah, so but not all these extra. Whacking the legs off first gives you extra parts. Oh, it looks so crusty. Filthy. I am so confused. He's like, I know there's a bad guy around, but. He's like, but, wait, but, wait, 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 I just woke up. Where'd he go? He woke up dead. All I want you for is your parts. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. Oops. Not quite close enough. See, when they wake up, that is the advantage. If they are already wide awake and crawling around, they're much more likely to scurry away from your attack. Yes. And it's really cumbersome to find their legs sometimes to chop them off. Well, they can move so fast if you don't get them soon enough. Yeah, you could be whacking at the air. Yeah, because by the time you swing the thing, it's already moved. It's super annoying. With the idea that Ganon fired off his malice to all the reaches of Hyrule to infect the Guardians. Some of these Guardians were already on locations, probably like here, because the Sheikah left them there. While when Ganon took over things at the castle, he spilled out and he threw his malice out to the guardians that were coming out around the castle mm -hmm. out of those large columns that erupted from the ground. So I understand that Ganon would have infected all of the guardians right there at the castle. Yeah. Because there would have been dozens of them right there on the castle premise. Mm -hmm. But I don't really buy the idea that he infected every guardian, guardian, no matter where they were, anywhere in the map. How did Ganon even know that these guardians were down here? They didn't get here after being infected by Ganon. They were already here to protect things like the labyrinth and what was kept in that chest. Yeah. It's impractical that Ganon would have infected these guardians with malice. I think that when Link got here, they should have been friendly guardians. Oh, That yeah. would have been like the original guardians functionality where they were friendly and not... Well, maybe it just enemy. corrupted all of the Sheikah technology. Up There's that was no made explanation up for that. Yeah. Like the explanation that we got was that his malice had to infect every last unit. These are possessed with malice. Yeah. Like the other flyers and walkers and decayed guardians around and that just doesn't add up to me yeah you're right very cool the diamond circlet a luxurious headpiece sold at gerudo jewelry shops it's decorated with a diamond which harnesses the power of light to reduce damage received from ancient enemies so cool so it's actually effective as defense 
for you. <laughs> I don't know how. I know, right? It doesn't seem like it would. If the do guardian much. will fire you, you right in the middle of the forehead, and then it'll protect you. Well, what I think it's probably. I don't say magical, but it ha probably has some other sort of yes. powers to it. Something in advanced technologies. So, but the funny thing is, is you can hardly see it. A radiation force field. Yeah. You well, can hardly see it. His... Press the right joystick and rotate them around to see if there's a... Yeah, you can kind of see... Oh, you can see... see from the back yeah. more. Oh, okay. But like his hair on the front... Covers a lot of it. Look, when I do this, his hair wiggles. You, you can see the diamond there, though, yeah. on his forehead. His hair wiggles. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is where we are. Oh, okay. Okay, so there's a, a couple more chests. Not down here, but up. Yeah. In particular, I'm interested in the broadsword. So let's look at the map and drop some markers. Okay. Or, oh, okay. You already there's got. Okay, so that two. one, the one, you, the first one, that one has the hundred rupees. Okay. That one has the broadsword. Okay. I, I, I want to fight the guardian again. Okay. Here, okay, Amber just handed me the controller again. Hello. He's stuck. <laughs> die, 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 die! He's gonna fall. Nice fall. All of his parts. And I'm gonna go after them. Nice. Yes. Good job. I love it. I hate those sky watchers. They're so annoying. I feel like a spider monkey. Let's go for another one. <laughs> Hello. <I'm> here. <laughs> what the? Where'd he go? They are determined burgers. You got to get the propellers to fall, and then you stand a chance of getting. Oh, there's some right them. here. The wind is so bad it blows the pieces. Look at me. He's like, I don't want to look at you, but I have to. You're still oh. alive. All right. <laughs> so supposedly like, that sorry. soft belly is the most vulnerable spot of all these massive guardians. And they're hard. It's hard to get that spot. There. It is. <laughs> oh, that was a good haul. Well, we need to go back f toward the back further. We need to? I guess you're right. All right, because so it's a very... you want me to do this? Sure. You want to give me directions? It's just right down below you, I think. Okay. Down in this path passage. Oh, yeah. like in here? Maybe, maybe not. Get out of my face. Oh, hello. Get out of my face. <laughs> there it is. Ha! Huh. Sweet. So you need to go to the right. Should have been right here. Uh -huh. Oh, you! <laughs> Ta -da. Ta -da. So cool. There it is. There's my quarry. They have a hard time controlling themselves. I wonder if it's the wind that kicks them around Maybe. or if they're just that bad at flying. Hey, doofus. Grab a hold, silly. What the? What was that? I have no idea. That was bizarre. Did y'all see that, guys? You have to go and replay that and see what actually happened. I feel like I'm not doing any damage. There. It, it looks like it takes several bomb arrows on each propeller to actually be effective in knocking it off. Make sure before you jump, make sure no parts land on the wall here. 
Okay. I think last time there were, but I'm kind of surprised that it didn't stay up there after that, like... Hand it over. <laughs> Nothing. It all went down inside this time. I'm curious to know what Robbie wants to give me for all this. So that took out everything, right? Yep, we, we did, did it, it all. all. Here, you can have the controller back. Okie doke. Let's see what he wants to give us for all this stuff. Okay. Maybe that cool shield. Maybe the armor. Hey, hey, beep. Familiar name missing. Insert materials and rupees. Receive ancient equipment in exchange. All right, so what about that shield? Can we afford it? Yeah, yeah, we, could. yeah we can. But what about the, the, I was going to say the armor. Are you interested in the armor? Yeah, let's look at it. I'm not a big fan of the helm, but no, I like but the... No, but the only... <clears throat> The only problem with the hell with that is that you do get extra bonuses with having a complete set, like extra health bonus or defense bonus or whatever it is, if you have the complete set. Well, you're right, but each of those are going to be 2,000 rupees each, and we're just short of that by like nine, 110 rupees. So maybe we should start with yeah, get this the, first? The, yeah, the, cure, the ancient... Curas? Curas? And the Ancient Greaves. Okay. Super. What else will it say that we can still afford? Does it say we can also still afford the... the shield? Yep. Interesting. Do you want to get it? Yeah, let's do. Cool. I haven't got this one before. It is one of the best shields in the whole game. Is it? It's very durable. It is good at reflecting the Guardian's blasts right back at him to destroy him so you don't even need to parry. And it's also one of the finest for shield surfing. Oh, cool. So we can't do any more. We don't have enough money for anything, so. Ah, uh, it's fine with me. Thank you, Cherry. And then you want to throw the new suit on? Yeah. Cool. Here, let's get the whole outfit on, and then we'll... Nice. And then we have to get an ancient battle axe. But go back to the shield and then spin them around. Yes! <laughs> that is so cool! Wow. Now we just get the bow yeah. to complete the picture. Link, you are a very different kind of cool now. The, the thing is, though, is with the helmet, it just will make him look dorky. <laughs> it just does. Well, from here, let's uh, get back to the Easter Kala stable for the next chapter in our adventure. Alrighty. And now you okay. match Cayenne. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. We didn't plan for this. No, we didn't. We that's, are just that's as cool. Fun. And that, guys, wraps up everything for part 22 of the Breath of the Wild walkthrough. Come back Tuesdays and Fridays for new episodes. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. May God bless you all. We'll catch you next time. Cheers.